believable. PDP is gradually self-destroying itself. You know, the worst type of uh, thing that can happen to a man is an internal destruction that starts from within. Yeah. You know, when uh, PDP, uh, when the Northerners in PDP decided to join the race and participate, part of what they agreed upon is that if, for instance, a Northerner wins the uh, presidential ticket of the party, that the chairman who is from the North would step down so that somebody from the South, so it doesn't look like a Northern party. And they agreed. And the person who won the uh, party's who won the party's chairmanship, I agreed as well. But you know the funniest thing? Power is intoxicating, if not brought under control. I don't know if you have watched the, um, what's it called, the uh, hot lips, I mean, what their names are called, where Torin, Torin became king, and when he saw the animosity of wealth, refused to step down. This was the same man who said, um, he, you know, he was pledging and telling the people to support him to win back his land, and that he was going to support them. Guess what? The time came, the guy was totally out of touch and did not bother to do anything of such. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. My dear, APC is self-destroying right now. The PDP, I beg your pardon, PDP crisis. I told PDP BOT, that is the board of trustees yesterday, that he will not step down as the party chairman. PDP sources reveal. According to the news that was published by the Vanguard newspaper online this morning, it was reported that a source in the PDP has spoken as regarding the crisis in the party. The source who spoke to Vanguard correspondent on condition of anonymity after the BOT's meeting, an NWC meeting yesterday, said that the problem in the People's Democratic Party may not be solved anytime soon because the party national chairman, Senator Aye is not ready to step down from his position as the party's national chairman. Prior now, some PDP supporter, supporters of Governor Wiki demanded that I must resign from the position so that PDP won't be viewed as a northern party in the forthcoming presidential election. However, after the meeting with the BOT, I, while speaking during the meeting yesterday, said, he was not ready to resign from his position because that will affect the outcome of the presidential election in next year's election. He said that as, he, as it might not be in the favor of the PDP candidate, Atiko. And he said if he would eventually resign from the position, that would be after the general election and not now. He said Atiku wants him to stay in that position. Why are people insisting on him that he must resign? That he will not resign. He will do no such thing. Now, if you listen or if you paid attention very well, you will hear that um, Wiki has gone ahead and, has invi and is inviting APC um, governors to come help him, you know, inaugurate some of the, um, you know, of the, of the development going on in, in, in his state. And um, part of the grievances of Wiki is that this guy, we had an understanding before everything came. But even Atiku, why they were having that meeting, they're giving Atiku some, you know, some guidelines in which they will support him. Atiku himself has said this very guy would not resign. So I wonder what they were having this meeting for and what they think would be the outcome. You know, a house that is not, I don't, I don't understand the house that they have anyway, but any house that is not, um, that is not together, okay, any house that is self-destroying will eventually collapse, you see. And Wike is saying, guys, guys, let's put things in order. You know, part of what Atiku said, um, Wike said was the reason he did not take Wike is that he said Wike has a strong personality and he has picked the person he could possibly work with. And definitely it's not Wike. Now, fair enough. But the party is saying it's, it's okay. Nobody has the anatomy of right to pick your running mate and who you could possibly work with. It's fine. If this is who you have chosen, all well and good. But what we are saying now is, right about now is, the person who is the APC national chairman, which we have an agreement, that since the Northerners and the party are coming into the misk, into the whole play, if such an individual from the North wins, such a person will have to step down. An agreement was reached and it was agreed upon. However, the deed is done 
Atiku has won it. And guess what? The guy said, I am not stepping down. Even uh, uh, Atiku that won the election himself said that Angie will not step down until after the elections. I don't know how it's going to influence that anyway, but these are part of the reasons and part of the things that are currently affecting the party right now. And why you can see that, you know, things are no longer business, it's no longer business as usual, and the week himself seem not to be part and parcel, you know, seem not to be really concerned about the issues going on with the party right now, which is not a good front, a good state to go into a battle or an election with. It's not a good place at all. It's not a good position. It's not anything to come by that, you know, um, you know, to be a position for people to stand together and to be able to air their position and air themselves and stand in unity and stand in oneness. So you can see that there is real problem going on right now. PDP needs to put her art herself together or they may not stand a chance against others. You see, elections are right around the corner. But what do we do? What do we do? Why are we just, you know, quiet and allowing these things to go on with nobody particularly, you know, addressing issues? Parties are going through, you know, different phases of whatever is happening to them now. And instead of them to put themselves together, we are seeing a different ball game altogether. You see, so it is about time that those who think they, they want something must do all they possibly can in the position of ensuring that truth is dispensed. You see, right about now, some things that are happening have shown that even the party is not ready to ensure that, you know, truth is being displayed. Okay, to, say, to ensure that truth is being displayed. So these are some of the things that are going on. And then um, APC, uh, PDP, you know, if the you, APC itself has its own problem, there are also post other problems going on in APC. So it is what it is. Unless something is done, we don't know, you know, kind of people who are coming up, you know, in this election year, we don't know. So these are some of the things that are happening and why every one of us must do all we can possibly to ensure, okay, that, you know, uh, at the end of the day, truth is, is, is you know, is, is inevitable. So it is what it is, my wonderful people. And right about now, it is time for everyone to be able to look at it and ensure that we vote in the right persons into office. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now. Bye.